periodically in Blender, we like to have an object rotate not around its geometric center, which is the default, but actually around a, a pivot point, maybe out on the edge, sort of like a door. There are several ways of doing this. The easiest way is to move the so-called pivot point. If we look on the left-hand object here, we see that the, there's a pink dot here on the corner that is, in fact, what I am rotating it around. This is called the pivot point. If we look at it from the front, we'll see it's about halfway down this, 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 this side there. This is different from the right-hand object, where the pivot point is in the perfect center of the object. As I rotate around, you can see that pivot point is more or less in the center of the object. What we'd like to do is make this, this object have its pivot point out on the edge so we can swing it like a door. To do this, I found that the cleanest way is to switch to edit mode. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select one of the vertices. I've selected this top right vertice. I'm going to type Shift S. It lets me move the cursor. I'm going to move the cursor to selection. So now I have the red and white cursor centered on that point. In fact, you can see it's centered exactly on that vertex. If I go back to object mode right now, I can click the center cursor button, and the pivot point moves exactly to that point. Now, I didn't want my cursor to be all the way to the top like that. I like my cursor to be about halfway down. I could freehand this with the left mouse button and try, try, try and put the cursor more or less in the, in the center point. But it is usually easier and more accurate to uh, line, line up the cursor to a selection. So what I'm going to do here is a dirty trick. I'm going to switch to edge, edge selection. I'm going to select all the edges, the vertical edges of this box. I'm going to subdivide them once. So now, in vertex select mode, I actually have a vertex right there in the middle that I can switch my selection to. So cursor to selection, right there, is Shift S. Then back in object mode, I will center my cursor on that. So my pivot point is now right there. And from above, when I rotate this bad boy, I have a door. So to recap, I move the cursor to where I'd like my pivot point to be. And then I clicked center cursor, and I showed you a w one way of doing it. Another way, of course, is just to freehand it. If I put my cursor over here and say center cursor, the pivot point for this object is now way far from its center. When I rotate it, we can see that it rotates around that center, which is sometimes handy as well.